Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Michael for Spirit Comics. Welcome to the uh, my 25 days of comic book reviews for the month of December. Now, since this is uh, yeah, you know, so this is something I'm going to be doing this month, and hopefully it'll catch on. I decided to start it off with. Archie's Christmas Stocking from 1993, number one. So if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe. Smash that notification bell. You know, give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's up to you. Please leave a comment. You hated the video, you liked the video, or you have no opinion. And, uh, you know, please do share it around. Do all the fun YouTube stuff that, you know, helps out a small channel like my, my own. Now, this is back when Archie was more wholesome than the CW Riverdale thing. Although, I have to say, this cover itself, not too... It's wholesome, but... My gosh, look at those, that, that Betty and Veronica, how they dress, that is attractive, but that is so attractive, let's, let's get into this, alright, this is in the anthology book, so, it has a bunch of different stories, and I think they're all written by the same person, by the way. And the art is consistent all the way through. So there's no uh no there's no there's no bad pages, no good pages. It's consistent. The first story is called A Jingle for Justice. And it's about this little guy here. An elf by the name of Jingle. He says, Honored Chief, Great suit and Rotund Royalness, there is trouble in my sector. I beg time off to return Christmas joy to some unhappy people. Now this elf down here, he has no idea what those words mean. And this grouchy elf says, Hairy and fat, that jingle's got no respect. I did not know that word before. So, on the next page, we see Jingles flying very fast to Riverdale, where the gang, Veronica, Betty, Archie, and Jughead are all working out. Jingles decides to hide in a punching bag, which is a bad move because Jughead is working in on the punching bag. Which causes Jingles to literally get knocked out of the punching bag. He listens to the complaints of the kids. And I think this is Archie's dad. And this is uh, Veronica's dad. So who went to Archie's dad for, you know, some uh, advice says. Yeah, as a certified public accountant. Yeah, and he's been losing money in some stocks. So he's telling us that he's concerned about this. And he says, don't worry, it's going to skyrocket. So then, the dude is on the phone to someone saying yeah we've got we've got him now we're gonna be rich we're gonna dream dry and so Jingles is there thinking oh wow no wonder there's trouble in River City or Dale or whatever yeah, the, the elf can't even keep track of which city he's in. 
so he goes back, tells the kids everything's going to be okay. Then he goes over to see the CPA and puts a spell on him. It says, turn your thoughts from bad to gooder. Do your job the way you shoulda. If, if that sounds silly, well, it's meant to be. This is the Archie comic. It's it's a fun comic. It's supposed to be funny. So then the CPA gets on the phone, tells his partner, who's called Slade, to sell and buy certain stocks that will make money for Veronica's dad. Who is so happy that you know, he doesn't spare any expense for that Christmas celebration. And everything works out. Now this second story is called Fresh Idea. This one is the only story that I thought was kind of, well, it seemed un incomplete. Archie and Jughead are going out looking for a Christmas tree. A fresh one. They're, they're looking for a fresh one. And Archie is putting it, putting this one to the test. And he literally tears it up. Goes to another lot. No, he's not. he won't buy from there. Eventually he finds a farm that's selling the Christmas trees. And they are told where... Archie and Jughead can indeed saw, uh, saw to get their tree. So they're approaching the plot and this, the guy says, yep, this is my farm. We're taking a load of fresh trees into Riverdale now. See ya. Jughead screaming, and we came all the way here for a tree. What do you say to that? Nope. I'm fresh out of comments. And that's the end of the story. They don't get the tree that they came for. Okay. I, I didn't care for that one too much. Yeah. Now this one uh, is, by, is featuring Betty and Veronica as the main characters originally pre presented in Archie's Christmas Stocking number 4 1957 edition and you can tell from the artwork now Archie Jughead and some of the others are painting some some toys that are going to be given away to the local kids Then the guy who's running this whole deal, uh, I forgot his name. Oh yeah, here's Mr. Weatherby. This, it, he de decided they would direct, redirect all letters to Santa from the post office to them so they could fill those orders. And Here's where it starts to pick up. Betty sees this one letter signed Archie. It's for a big fuzzy dog. And then there's another one from Jughead for a big turkey dinner. And then there's another one from uh, Reggie who wants who uh, wants a big kiss from the lips of Veronica. So, they are so ticked off at the, at the guys, they decide to give them exactly what they're wanting. Jughead finds his turkey dinner. Archie find, gets found by a big fuzzy dog. 
and Veronica kisses Reggie in the office of Mr. Weatherby and he's just all he's he's not seeing stars he's seeing hearts but it sort of backfires because Mr. Weatherby seeing that, it, that these three letters got fulfilled writes one to Santa saying you know get these girls out of my hair and <laughs> that's the end of it here's a cool advert from 1993 Konami just took your favorite shows off TV Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Batman the Animated Series Tiny Toon Adventures for Game Boy this next one's called Too Many Clauses now this is a uh, something which uh, you might think would be a happy accident but it wasn't you know, Archie's getting a, a big old kiss from Veronica there and the guys are jealous so Reggie says Hey guys, let's go. Uh, there's something we gotta do. Oh, and by the way, in the middle is a 1994 pull-out calendar. Very nice. Of the Archie gang. But I'm not gonna pull it out. I'm gonna leave it in there. Because it's not 1994 anymore. So then, Veronica's dad sees her getting kissed and sees another Santa kissing a, kissing a girl and another Santa kissing Betty and he starts to get mad and he tells Veronica so then when Archie comes back the next day she gets told off by Veronica and he returns his suit and there's a whole bunch of other guys returning Santa suits as well because you know it was a joke on Archie that didn't go that well. This story is called Picture Frame. It's another story that could have been a happy accident, but wasn't. This was originally presented in Archie's Christmas Stocking Number 20, 1963 edition. So, the girls are fighting. Betty and Veronica are fighting. Archie has this idea to make him, to, how to get him to sort of calm down. And he would give each one of them a picture that says, you know, that has his name. And, 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 and with love underneath it. However, he gives one to both Veronica and Betty. And the one he dropped here is the one he thought he gave to Veronica's dad. So, in fact, she has the one made out to Betty, which never, which never sees the, the pages. But, in fact, he's able to sneak, he's able to get back the, the picture Jughead gets all of the boxes because he's not sure which one is actually the one Archie gave. And it's uh, apparently Veronica had the same idea only to several guys. Archie, Reggie, Sam, uh, Donnie, and Ricardo. So that, that, that was a, a little bit funny. This one is uh, uh, called Christmas Cheer Up. It's almost like a Grinch sort of story. It's about Archie's dad. 
I was wrong in the beginning that that guy, the, that guy in the first story was not Archie's dad, although it certainly looked like him. This is Archie's dad. And he is mad. He's grouchy. And they go looking for a tree. And they are walking around the mall. They finally get one. They bring it home. It falls on his dad. And somehow that puts his dad in a good mood. So it would. It, it was it was it was really cute. And then there was one last uh, story, I believe. This one is very very cute. It's called Christmas Stocking in Close Shave. But this is Archie in a Santa suit. Now he's ta he's dressing up for something or other but then he and he's changing he had his he told his friend here that he's got to show up at Bronca's party later that night so he's got to get the the beard off so what does he do Archie starts running through the mall to every drugstore that he can find to get this kind of a uh, solvent that'll help remove the beard because it's stuck on really good. He finally gets the solvent, is able to remove the beard, and he gets to Veronica's party, and all the guys are wearing these beards, and all the girls are wearing the hats. So, and Archie feels totally left out. So, it, so it. It was a, 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 fun, a funny book. You know, that's what comics are supposed to be. Funny books. That's what comic means. Funny. I thoroughly enjoyed this, and I would recommend it to anybody who wants to read something fun and just have a, just have a good read. I think these are put out every year. Archie's Christmas Stocking. So, I hope you enjoyed this review. The, uh, the, I hope you enjoyed the artwork inside it because it was very, very good. And, you know, it let, it was just, you know, it was, it, it, it was good art. It kept, it wasn't the artwork which kept me interested, really. It was the content. Because I kept laughing the whole time. That's what makes this a grade A comic book, in my opinion. So, if you enjoyed this review of Archie's Christmas Stocking, the first day of my 25 days of comic book reviews, please do all the cool YouTube stuff. You know, like, share, subscribe, notification bell, and comment. I'm Michael for Spirit Comics. Till next time, true readers, may all your news be good news.